and I'm live. Yes, I am. I'm live. With that five, six second delay, whatever it is. How are you, everybody? Hope you are having the best of days. It is Monday. Um, first Monday, we're back after our... I'm going to cut this carpet, I swear. Those of you that watch this channel know the curse that I have in this carpet and the wife won't let me cut it. What can I tell you? All right. Well, anyways, first Monday back with with a clean slate here on YouTube. So what do we do? Well, we're going to play some games. So we've got a full slate this week. All right. But we have some real heavy, heavy, heavy games. Okay. Uh, we got Frostgrave tomorrow. Finally. Finally, after a year of waiting, Frostgrave is ready to go uh, and off and running. I've got a lot of things that are off and running. Uh, Wednesday, we got Blood Bowl. Thursday, I haven't decided what I want to do. It might kind of depends on what I can get done tomorrow morning. So, um, basically, in a nutshell, I decided to play something I found uh, about a week ago. Uh, hey, Glowing Turtle, how are you? Captain Carl, good to see you. Uh, our Wrestling Federation is going to be starting uh, next week. Um, we've got Blood Bowl Tournament, okay? Uh, this week it's going to be Humans versus Norsica. You know nothing good can come of that. Um, just a lot, a lot of good things coming up, in my mind at least. At least things that I'm going to enjoy playing. So uh, I decided to make it nice and light and simple today. Something light that I found, and I found it. I forgot where I, I, I was. I was shopping around for games that I may not know about, and sure enough, I found one that I didn't know about, and it's called Catacombs of Karnak, uh, and that's this little baby here. Um, very simple system, but I'll be honest with you, it looks a lot of fun. So I said, why not? right why not let's mess with it let's see what we can get out of it paul how are you i try to say hi to everybody i really do so let me show you what goes on here and i got the manual here but i'm going to keep that in front of me i'm going to put my glasses back on so i can see and i'm going to show you what's going on here this is a this is actually pretty interesting this is a this is a nice game that if um if you have uh, you know, if you just want a, a little bit of a beer and pretzel thing, oh, God forbid if I say beer and pretzel around here, uh, you, you know, after the whole Hero Quest uh, thing. But um, this is something that you could play with a bunch of friends if you, if you just want a nice light night and, and, and do a little dungeon crawl. Or you could play with some kids. Now, there's a whole bunch of different types of heroes, and they have different types of ability uh, that you can u utilize. All right. And you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven, seven characters. Now, what you're trying to do, and we have our two characters on the center, center stage here, okay? They are going to be moving. They get four actions, okay? A move costs one action. Entering an undis undiscovered tile costs one action. You're going to draw a tile. Uh, tile. And connect the path okay it, uh, if, it, if the tile is a room you draw a token from said bag you could be treasure it could be a key it could be a weapon that's going to help you it could be a monster of course and uh, you're going to have to negotiate it if you decide to uh, hello from Crete Greece well, hello my friend I hope you're doing well so um, th that's how that is going to work, okay? You're going to get in combat. The whole point is to work your way through, collect as much treasure as you can, and defeat the dragon. If you end up with the dragon's treasure, uh, I mean, defeating the dragon, guess what? The game's over. But even though you're the one that might defeat the dragon, you may not have won, okay? Because guess what? The person with the most treasure points or victory points wins the game. So we're going. I'm going to play these two characters. Okay, they're going to be competing against each other, and we're going to see how we do with this. All right, 
This is the first time I'm playing it. It looked interesting. There's spells. There's all kinds of different things that, that are in this little bag here that can cause bedlam. Here's all the tiles that we're going to be using. And, uh, hey, all I can say is uh, let's give it a whirl, right? All right. Uh, let's take a look here. I want to just check one thing real quick before I go. Uh, start with four action. His first action is to move his figure. He's already discovered a dungeon tile. Okay. So you're not going to go far in this with these actions because it seems like you get stopped every every few seconds. But it it's it just has this. There's just something about it that's interesting. I'll explain things as we go. And the best thing to do. It's, let's fire this bad boy up, all right? Make sure you like and subscribe, as always. And uh, let's give it a go. All right, so. Um, we're going to let her go first. So the first thing she's going to do is discover a tile. And I'm going to grab a tile. That's going to be one action. Now, that's a room tile. Now, to move in that, we're, the minute you turn that over, okay, I'm going to reach into this bag now. We'll sh shake it up real well, and we're gonna pull something out here. So what's in there? Oh, it's 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 a it's a monster. Not too good. So it was one to turn that over. It's gonna be two to go into this, okay? And now what's gonna happen is she needs an eight to defeat it, okay? Now you're gonna roll two d six. And you have, well, you have to beat an eight, or it's actually uh, ties. Oh, uh, if you if your total equals the monster, the hero must retreat back to the tile they came from. All right, so we're gonna roll. That's a nine. That's a nine. So she, right off the bat, she's defeated the monster. Now, by defeating the monster, she's gonna turn it over. And it's going to be a key. All right. That's the treasure that you're going to get. That key is very valuable because it's going to unlock treasure. After your combat, your turn ends. Just ends 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 a turn right there. All right. My man there saw that. He wasn't too thrilled about it. All right. So she had a, 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 a dual action. You may re-roll any one die in combat but we were pretty happy with that my buddy here is, is 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 a little intimidated by what he saw so now what he's going to do in all his greatness let's give him names uh this is alicia and this is grog yeah there we go so grog is going to go and he's going to go the opposite way and we're going to turn over there oh game on bro game on there's another room. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm going to pull out the bag. See, I'm going to put the bag like this so you guys don't think I'm cheating. Oh, oh. Oh, this is... All right, here we go. So here's the thing. He's got to roll a seven to beat the mummy, all right? There's something special about that mummy, though. That mummy has the curse of Karnak. If he's able to defeat him, Something interesting is going to happen. So let's see what happens here. He's got to roll a seven or be uh, better. Uh, he rolls a six. That's not good. All right. If you fail your combat roll, roll again. You only lose if you fail your second roll. All right. Let's. See. He needs a seven, folks. He needs a seven or better. He gets an eight, and he defeats it. So what does he get? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. He gets a flaming sword spell. What, what does that do? I don't know what that does. Let's go take a look. Let's take a look at that. Ah, magic bolt. The spell, magic bolt, can be acquired by defeating the mummy. When using it, a bonus of plus one is added to the total when rolling the dice. However, it can be used after the roll if the player wants to, or more than one magic bolt can be used. So he, he's got a spell. He can carry three spells. So he's going to put that there. Now, oh, if any player defeats a mummy, one player becomes cursed. 
The player who defeated Mummy chooses what player. So he's going to put this curse on her. What's that going to do? She cannot use any of her abilities. So he moved in there. That's all he can do once he fights. And he has succeeded. All right. Both of them have had pretty good turns. All right. Sean Thompson, what's up? Where have I heard Karnak before? Uh, Johnny Carson. So now she's going to go. She has four actions. So what I suggest doing is, because it could become a little confusing, we are going to draw, drop four right there so we don't lose track of how many actions. So the first thing she's going to do is discover a tile. All right. I hate this chair. I really do. Uh, let's go here. Oh, another another one of those rooms. All right. So now we got to roll see what's inside the room. Hopefully it's not the dragon. You don't have to go in. It is. Oh, it's the mummy. It's a mummy. Well, what do you know? All right. So it was one of her actions to discover the tile. It's going to bring her down to three. And then if she decides to go in it and fight it, it's going to bring her down to two. I say she goes in there and fights it. She needs to fight it to get rid of that mummy, to get rid of that curse. All right, here we go. She's going to roll. Uh, oh, too bad for you, my dear. Uh, so she's going to get pushed back into the room. She lost. That's going to end her turn. Uh, if your list is total, retreat back to the tile you came from and lose one health point. Now, the neat thing about this, this is not neat because it's all indentured. It's not, look, see? Not like, there we go. And we're going to turn that over. So she's taking one health hit. Not cool. Well, she may not want to go that way until she can get going a little bit. That ends her turn. That's it. All right. Um... Happens when uh, and ends a player turn. Okay, there we go. So he's going to go this way. And he's going to use one point. Remember, he has four. So we're going to go down to three. He's going to flip it up. Another room. Let's see what he discovers in this room. All right, let's see what's up here. Let's see what's up. Let's give you another view of this. Because you know, you know, we got like 27 views. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, it's a rat. So he's going to come in and he's going to take on this rat. All right. So he needs a five or better. And oh, double ones. But that's okay. He has double double attack. So he's going to try again. Uh, four. That's not enough to beat the rat. He gets pushed back. What do you think of those apples, my friends? So, what does that do? I'll tell you what that does. That is going to end his turn, and he is going to take a little bit of a beating right there. Hmm. Even if he, even if he used the magic spell, it would tie. Is it really worth using that? Probably not. Probably not. Turn ended. All right. Esmeralda, or whatever we decide to call her, is going to go now. And she wants to defeat that rat. So she's going to go one action, two action. You can do that. And then three actions. She's going to come over here. And she's going to roll um, two dice. All right. And she gets an eight. That's enough to defeat the rat. And what's that going to give her? Ah, a pair of daggers. And that's going to be plus one to every fight she has. All right. Now, you can tally up. Both, you can carry two weapons. And the other one you're going to have to drop. Okay. And what, what happens is, is you can tally the numbers from the two weapons and add it to your roll. So that ends her turn. She's quite satisfied, but our boy here is not. And he's got to make a decision. Where does he want to go? Well, he's going to come down here. 
for one action. Ah, and he, and he does what he thinks is correct here. Well, he could do this even. All right, let's do this. All right. Now let's see what's inside that room. Let's see what's inside that room. Mo! All right. What's in that room? Oh, uh, it's a treasure chest. But it's not going to do our boy any good. Why? Because he cannot carry treasure. And he can't open it. He doesn't have a thing. So it's kind of useless. So that was one. He can come back here for two because he discovered that and this here is a healing well so he's going to heal up here but it ends his turn doesn't cost an action but ends his turn all right now Esmeralda here saw that grog went in that room and he just went oh for the crying out loud the sell this at Bed Bath and Beyond go for what? Okay. I don't even hope to understand what you just said, Sean. As a matter of fact, I think we all feel a little simpler. Alright. Alright, so now she's gonna use one action to go here, two actions to go here. And to the player may pick up equipment or treasure. Uh, does not cost an action, but ends the player's turn. Okay, so let me just check. So that was one, two. Hmm. One, two. Equipment. Anytime. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the inventory has slot for two weapons. What about treasure, dude? Stop messing with us. Alright, so you would discard the key. Okay, we would use the key to unlock it. Alright. And then we will get what's in, inside it. Alright, shoot. It's victory point. I'm going to put that right there. All right. But that ended her turn. This goes back into the bag. All right. Here we go. Well, you get one of these with a free sofa. What can I tell you? I don't know. All right. So, our friend here. He sees the mummy and he doesn't want her to get this and uh, to, to, to take off that thing so i think he might go that way so he's going to go one he's going to go two and he's going to roll the two dice he's going to take a shot here let's see what happens uh six uh seven would just be a push but he does get a free reroll. let's see if that helps seven it's a push he get he has to go back to where he was Ends his turn. Nobody can beat that mummy. Nobody can beat that mummy. What's up with that? Come on now. Come on now. All right, let's see. Our girl here is... Oh, there we go. It's going to come over here. So we're going to turn the tile. All right. Uh, that's going to connect there. That was one for discovery and one to move to it. Nothing happens, just connects. Then she's gonna do no discover another one. Oh, found another room. Found another room. Let's see what's inside there. It does have a little dungeon quest feel to it. It does at that. Uh oh! It's a skeleton. Does she want to go fight him with an eight? I think she does. That'll be her fourth action. She says, let's let's go. Let's get it. Let's get some. All right. So she's going to roll. Let's see what happens here. 
And... Oh, she gets an 11. She doesn't even need the bonus there. She just obliterates him. And she gets a key out of it. So she can find another, another treasure. But that ends her turn. That ends her turn. <sighs> he seems a little disgusted. He's going to move one. And then he's going to discover a tile up top. Finds that tile. So that's one action. Uh, uh, so that's two actions. That's three. It was one, two. To discover. Three to move. And he's going to discover a tile right there. And he finds another room. All right. Let's see what he finds in here. All right. All right. Here we go. And it's a treasure chest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And that's going to end his turn because he doesn't have anything to do with it. She sees treasure chest, and there's only one thing to do. Let's go one action, two action, three action. Oh, she's in the room, four action. She, I, it doesn't cost... Does not cost an action, but ends a turn. All right, so she's going to use her key. And that key is going to go back in. And she's going to get that treasure. She's getting a little, little pile of booty here. All right. Now my man here is totally disgusted. He's going to come here for one, and then he's going to discover a tile here, which, uh, well, we're going to have to do that because you can't connect those like that. And what's in there now? So that's one to discover it. Rick, what's up? It's another treasure chest. He's just disgusted. He can't find anything. So it was one to discover it. Well, he moved here for one. Discovered it for two, came here for three, and discovers another one. And he's discovered that for four. Let's see what's in there. Oh, another treasure chest. Oh, this is not looking good for our man here. So that's going to end his turn. She, on the other hand, is going to come in here and use her... Oh, no, she doesn't have the key anymore. It's not going to do her any good. So she's going to come up one. Then she's going to discover up there. And what does she discover? Another room. What's in that room? What's in that room? And it, oh. So she came over one. Whoops. Discover two. And moved in here for three. She's going to take on the skeleton. Eight. Plus one for her weapon. That's nine. That's going to that's gonna kill him. I'm supposed to be using this die. One. Discover two. Move in three. Ends her turn. All right. This guy is totally disgusted. He's going to come over here. And he's going to come down here. And... All right. Connects all those rooms together. Let's see what happens here. Hey, Chloe. Rob, don't you have to worry about the Jarl's massive cheating in this game? Yeah, that's why I'm playing it on my own. Oh, it's a rat. It's a rat. So moved over one. He's coming down for two. Uh, he moved over one. Discovered one for two. Now he's going to move in here for three, and he's going to fight the rat. He's going to fight the rat. And he... That's a dead rat, folks. Now he ha gets a plus one. Look at this. And he has the flame and sword. He can combine that for a plus two, so now he's getting stronger. That ends his turn. But our girl's on a mission here. She's going to come down for one, two, three. 
she's going to open this and take the treasure. And that's going to end her turn. She is just piling up the booty. All right, let's shake these up real good. But, but, it's not over yet, folks. It's never over. It's our boy's turn. Uh, he's going to go right in, and he wants his mummy dead because he doesn't want her getting the advantage there. So she, he's just going to take out this mummy while he can. Or he doesn't really care about it. Eh, yeah, he does. He's going to go in there for one. Get rid of the mummy. <laughs> that mummy's dead, folks. And he gets another flaming skull. Look at that. And he can use a combination of all three of these for plus three. So if something big comes out, he can really wail on it. She's in trouble. She needs to get rid of this curse. All right. That ends his turn. She's going to go one and then come over here. And all right. She's going to try to match all this up here. Let's see what's over there. Uh, that was one. That was two to discover it. So he's got two left. Uh-oh. The dragon. Listen, that is not cool. If she had enough power, she can take him on. But there's no way that, that she has enough power. He, you're going to need a 15 or better. Captain Carl, thank you for, for, for becoming a new member. We appreciate it, bro. Way to come strong. Matter of fact, there's only one thing to do when something like that happens. You got it. You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. It's time to find out if he gets the music. Oh, he gets the music. Godzilla not being stingy today. Nice. All right, so she's got two, two left. Oh. Um, we're going to go up. So she's going to discover that tile there. Oh, that's a big help there. We know where the dragon is now. We just got to get powerful enough to beat him. Let's see what's in that room. Man, you don't want to fight that dragon right now. Oh, that's a key. Uh, so let's see. She went over for one. She discovered another one for two. She had one action left, so she's going to move in there and she's going to fight. She's going to fight that boy. And seven plus one is eight. It's a push. And that's going to come back. But this is an opportunity for our boy here. This is an opportunity. Ah, things have changed. One, two. He's going to fight that guy right there. He says, go ahead. Let's see what you got. And pff, he destroys him. Thus, he gets a key. Ah, not so fast, folks. Not so fast. Victory points come at a premium here. Victory points come at a premium here. All right. So he's happy with that. And oh, let me just fix that a little bit there. All right, let's go to our side view for a little bit. I had to renew because my monthly payment kept hitting my account when it had very little in it. That's all right, bro. You're good. Listen, we appreciate anything you do. All right, so now, now, um, he went, he got that. So he's happy with that. She knows that she can't take on that dragon right now. So she's going to come down. She's going to go one. She's going to give up that thing. She's not worried about it. Um, so we're going to reset this at four. Bring it down to three. Um, she's going to discover what's here. Oh, it's a little T-bone. That's going to bring her down to... T okay, no. That was going to bring her down to two. I'm sorry. Uh, coming in here, it's going to bring her down to one action. And then she's going to discover what's here. And yeah, there you go, folks. There you go. Business starting to pick up. Business starting to pick up. All right. 
let's find out what's in that room. Boom. Oh, it's another key. It's another key. Interesting. So our boy here is going to move here. That's going to be one. He's going to open that up and and use the key. That's going to open up and that's going to go right here. Ends is ends every everything for him. She doesn't have a key, so that's not going to help her any. If she goes in there and fights him, that's going to give her a key. All right. So she's going to go one. And then let's see what happens here. She's going to try to beat him. Oh, pfft. she is just, she doesn't even need her daggers for crying out loud. She ends up with another key. That's going to end her action. All right, come back over. Grognard, whatever he is. He's going to go one. He's going to discover what's in here. Well, let's try this pile. All right, that's actually pretty good for him. And let's see what's let's see what's there. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That thing is serious. What is that? I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna tell you guys what that thing is. That is the fallen. You don't think you're the first brave soul to ever enter Karna Karax Labrith, do you? There have been many brave adventurers, now many dead souls. Some even managed to reach Karnak's goal, Karak's goal. But it didn't serve them well. They lost their minds and never found their way out. Now, their cursed souls have to guard the very treasure they tried to steal. Mm. Does he go after them? He went over one. And go up discover that for two all right let me think here he has plus three to any kind of roll and he can roll doubles hmm nothing what's up I don't know I guess it's I, I guess it's the old thing no guts no glory so he goes in there he's going in there he's fighting that thing all right, he's gonna fight it. He needs a twelve or better. Now, if he rolled this, he'd be he all set. But he's got a couple of pluses here, and he can double roll. All right, let's see. Uh, six, six, and if he used that for three, that would be nine. That's not gonna do it, folks. It's not gonna do it. He does get another roll. He does get another roll, and oh, five. No, he's gonna take a wound. He just got punched in the face and got told to get back. Oh, and that's going to end his turn. Wow. Wow. Harsh reality. Harsh reality. All right. Our girl here. It's her turn. She's going to go and she's going to discover right here. And, oh, very nice. Nice job. She found, she found a little gateway there. Let's see what happens here. All right, let's go. Oh, it's another key. But it's not going to do her any good. It's not going to do her any good. All right, so that was one. She's going to go two, three, four. And she's going to come back that way. Hmm. And that's going to end her turn. Hmm. My boy here. All right, let's 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 go to our other angle here. We've we've got multiple angles. All right. He's gonna come one, two, three, and he's gonna discover right there for his fourth action. Oh, something he needed, something he needed, and that's a healing well right there. There's a healing well right there. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Girl's gonna go. She's gonna go one, two, and she's gonna use the healing well, and that's gonna end her turn. He's gonna go. He's gonna come over here. He's gonna use the healing well, and that's gonna end his turn. 
Hmm. Now she's going to go. It's going to go one, two. And then she's going to discover over here. So let's see what's over there. Little T junction. Little T junction. And she could go up like that. She could do that. Kind of keep it all nice and tight. Because somebody got to go take on that dragon. All right. And then for her last, she's going to come here. All right. She healed, so she went one, two, discovered for three, and then move into it for four. Uh, my boy here. One, two, three, four. No, no, he's going to discover here first. Um, all right, that's just going to run right into a dead end. So now he's going to go one, two, three. All right. All right, let's go up top. Let's go up top. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Hmm, I say, folks. Now it's her turn. She's going to discover up here first. And I'm going to reach into the bag here. And, uh oh. This guy looks a little serious. That's one. And she's going to discover down here. Very interesting. Very interesting. I could do it like this, too. There we go. Whoop. All right. And let's see what's in there. Then she could decide where she wants to go. All right. Oh, that bro looks serious. That's a 10, too. She's got a choice. Go big or go home. Hmm. Hmm. So that's two. She's got to try to get something here. So she's going to go there. So that's going to be three. Let's see how she does. Oh, it's a nine. Plus one is a ten. That's a huge, huge victory on her part. And she finds a sword, which gives her a plus two. Now she has a plus three going into anything. Whoa, game on, folks. Game on. That's got to make him a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous. Now she's rolling plus threes. He's going to come up one, and then he's going to give it another shot here. He thinks he can get the big roll here. He has three here, plus the double combat. Let's see what happens. Uh, 11. 11. So here's what, what's going to happen, folks. He's going to have to burn one of the... This would be 12. And then this would be 13. And that goes back in the bag. Now, what does he get out of this? Oh, he gets a treasure. That was a lot of fight for nothing. A lot of fight for nothing. Hmm, I say. Hmm. Now, this is really close. Whoever beats that dragon might just win the game. She's going to come down here. So he ends his turn right there. We're going to go one, two. One, two. And fight. That's plus three she has. She has plus three. She's got to roll big here. Uh, eight. Plus three. That's eleven. That's 11. Oh, and she gets a plus three axe. That's huge. So she's going to drop this, and she's going to leave it right in here. So whenever you drop a treasure, you're going to leave it right there. And that's going to end her turn. 
Now the big fellow's a little worried. He needs to get something going on here. He's going to go one. And then he's going to discover. Oh. How does he want to do that? How does he want to do that? One. That's going to discover uh, two. He can move here and discover for three. I mean, for four. And he does. And he does. My arms can't stretch that far. All right, let's see what's in there. That could be a little bit of a game changer right there. Oh, it's a skeleton with a key. Does he have a key? No, he does not. He cannot move there. That, that ends his turn. All right, she's going to discover here. That's going to cost one. Oh, wow. Talk about luck. Fits right into that juncture. Let's see what's there. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, it's a spider. It has six, but she's she's plus five. So she's going to move right in there, and she's going to say, Spider, let me tell you what's up here, bro. Let me tell you what... what what is the win con for this game? I, well, I discovered it. I, I, I said it in the beginning. Whoever has the most treasure at the end wins. You have to defeat the dragon. And even though you defeat the dragon, the game ends. But you may not have enough treasure to win. All right. So we're going to roll two die. It's, it's automatic. Boom. All right. So she got the spider. What is she... Oh, she gets a health potion. Whoa, 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 whoa. Giving it to the wrong dude. Health potion. That's huge. All right. So that was discover one, move two, three, four. All right. He's got to make a decision. Does he want to go after that key? Yeah, I think he does. He's going to go in after that key. Uh, you know what? He's not going to do that. He's going to come back over here. One and discover up there. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He found another room. He needs stuff. He knows he's hurting. Oh, it's a, it's a rat. It's a rat. So that's one. Discover two. Go in here for three. And fight the rat. Uh, yeah. Goodbye, rat. Now that kind of jacks him up a little bit. That gives him plus three now. Hmm. All he's got to do is beat that dragon. Who's going to get to that dragon first though? She feels pretty good. Five, that means you got to roll a ten. She can't use her dual attack though. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're gonna go one. Discover. What she does. So that's two. Oh. And there's three. So one. Discover for two. Three, four. All right. It's going to be his turn. So we're going to come over there. Another T junction. Let's see what's over there. We discovered that for one. Another rat. Another rat. That was one. But he's gonna he's gonna look up north too. He's gonna go here. There we go. Let's see what we can find over there. Okay. Oh, it's a skeleton king. So it's one two, and then he's gonna go in here. This could change the whole game right here. He's got plus three here and double attack. Let's see what he gets. Uh, eight. That's 
That's nine, 10, 11. That's more than enough. So he's going to defeat that right there. And guess what? He's found himself an axe. So now he's going to drop one of these. And now he's plus four with the magic spell plus five. Ooh. Is he feeling it or, or not? That's what you got to wonder. Oof. Let's see here. She's going to go one, two, three, four. She might be feeling it. He's going to come down. One, two, three, and go in. He's going to try it. His double attack. He's got at least five here. It's plus five. He needs a roll of 10, 11, or 12. Oh, man. Come on, bro. Oh, he failed on that one. But he does get a double attack. This could be the roll. Oh, nine. Oh, he just missed it. He missed it by one. He missed it by one. He would have a nice push. But no, he gets sent back, defeated. And he's going to take a wound. He's going to think twice about that. After what she saw, she's now thinking, boy, is that really worth it? Or do I go for it? Do I go for it? She's going to go in. She's going to go in. She's going to take a shot at it. All right? She's going to take a shot at it. No. She gets sent back. Crushed. Defeated. Hmm. Oh, it would have been nice if she was able to... No. I think they almost feel that they have to keep going here. And he does. One, two, three, four. He's going to roll two dice. Uh, No, that's not going to do it. He's going to roll his double attack. No, that's not going to do it either. Oh, wait a minute. Five... And four is nine. Excuse me. Duh. The other one wasn't going to do it. And he gets a key. She's feeling kind of the same way. One, two, three, four. It's a race to try, try to get maybe one more thing to kind of help out. Big fella. He's going to make a decision here. He's going to scout ahead. Whoops. And there we go. It's going to go right into there. And yeah. Yeah, boy. So that's one. And now he's going to move in there and fight this dude right here. He's at plus four, plus, possibly plus five. Uh, where was that? Where was that roll? And destroys him. Now, that's going to end his turn, but... On a positive, that's going to give him... And he's going to dump these right here. She's going to go one. Discover a tile. Um, there. To be fair. So that's one, two. And then she's going to discover another tile right there. And she finds that. Which isn't going to help it. That's three. And then, now she's thinking, boy, this wasn't too brilliant of me, but I'm going to have to go here. I have to. I have no choice. I don't think I can beat, beat the dude on my own. But the big fella, he's feeling pretty good about himself. He's going to go one, two, three, four. And that's where he's going to end his turn. She's going to discover here, and she finds a room. What can she find in that room? Oh, it's another key master. 
She's going to go back. One, two, three. He's going to go in. One, two. And he's going to try to beat the dragon. He's five. Plus one is six. Can he do it? He gets a double roll. Oh, that's not enough. That's way not enough. But he does get an extra extra attack. Eight plus six. Oh, so close. Fourteen. He's going to take another wound here. And he's going to get pushed back. She's going to come up one, two, three. And she says, no, my time is now. My time is now. All I need is an 11. Oh, she gets a 10. And that's a push. Oh, she was so close to finishing it off. And she gets pushed out. He sits there and he contemplates what he must do next. How? How can this be? What can I do? How can I do it? What is my mission in life? He's going to go in for one. He's going to roll. He can do it here. He feels it. Oh no, he fails on that one. But he swings his axe back. And he gets a ten. Ten plus six. He uses his spell at the same time and has defeated the dragon. But did he win? But did he win? He comes back. Dejected, she comes back. Knowing that that curse held her down. That curse held her down because she could have re-rolled any die. She has three points. Three points of treasure. But because he defeated the dragon, he gets the 1.5. He gets one, two, three, and a half. Just enough to win the game. And Grog is our champion. He has walked away. Hero. But there is no cons consolation prize, folks. There is no consolation prize. Whew. Unbelievable. Well played by both of them. A half a point separated them in this game. A half a point. A half a point was victory. There you have it, folks. All right. Nice little game. And if you want to go Bed Bath Beyond or wherever the heck to get it, it's worth it. It's a nice, light, fun little game. I think with a bunch of people, it gets a little crazy and, and fun. It's an old school, simplified dungeon crawl for everybody. I like it. I like it. It was worth it. With 20 something dollars. Nice, light. There you go. She was so close. So close. So close. If she was able to just get that 12, she was rolling 12s like crazy. If she was just able to get that one little bit more, she would have been there, folks. Really? fun and enjoyable game the components are beautiful the art is pretty good a little cartoony but remember what this is i can't remember have you played dungeon quest live oh, only about five times sean only about five times and that one has a big uh, story doesn't the curse leave when healing Ooh, maybe i screwed her over I don't think so. Maybe it does. Uh, the curse. Yeah, but I didn't go back. Uh, the curse hero can lift the curse by ending their turn on a healing fountain. I could have got rid of that curse for her. But that's all right. She was up against it. Yeah, we messed that up. I messed that up. I didn't see that part. But I did roll. I did roll the die because I wanted to see if that would have helped. The dual action wouldn't have helped. You can force your way past a monster that wouldn't have helped me. Yeah, she she wouldn't have got she wouldn't have won regardless because I kept on rolling one die just to see 
if that was going to. We play on hard mode. If you get cursed, you're cursed. That's about it. Listen, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I really suggest you go out and try to find this. You can find it very easily. Okay, you can find it on eBay for a couple of bucks. You can find it wherever. It's a nice, light little game. Breaks things up a little bit. You can only get it online from BBBB. No, I got it on uh, eBay, believe it or not, for like 20-something bucks. Uh, you can get it online from Bed, 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 Bath, and Beyond. Go figure. I don't know. What can I tell you? Um, nice little game. Nice little game. Very, so very solid. Hats off to the guys that, that did this. Roman and Pierre. Very, very nice. Things like this make me happy. I like Sometimes I just like to ha duel it out and just have a nice, simple little game. That This is a nice, simple game. Doesn't matter. It was fun. Oh, yeah. It was definitely... This was definitely fun. And it came right down to the last wire. I, I mean, to the last move. I mean, really... The quality is really, really good. I mean, really, really good. Everything is nice. It's not cheap. It's not flimsy. You have these, like I said, everything fits inside here because everything's notched. So I think that's just cool onto its own right. You know, There's, there was a little care put into this. Into a nice, simple little dungeon game. And the different characters really add a lot to you. Um, you've got magicians that can do things. Um, and did we see everybody? We saw a spider. We saw the skeleton king. We saw this. Uh, you got thieves. You got uh, knights. You've got warriors. Um, swordsmen. The oracle. The warlock. The thief. The wizard and the warrior. Quite a bit. There's even an expansion? Well, if there's an expansion, I've got to have it and I've got to play it. Now that I know, what's the name of the expansion? Let's find out what the expansion is. If there's expansion, we have to have it. We must have it. I will not rest until it gets here. And then we have to play it again. We got a big week, folks. Now that our little copyright thing's all gone, we're going big. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. That's all I can say. Let me see. I'm going to wait... Uh, Karak Regent. All right, I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna bring the expansion, in. and it, and it fits with this. I'm gonna look for it now. I'm gonna look for it now, and I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna definitely bring it in. That sounds like a that sounds like a good time. All right. Well, there you have it. All right, listen, I'm not going to drag this on too much longer. We went just about an hour, which is perfect. I've got to get ready for tomorrow's big day. i got to set this table up. I've got all kinds of things that we have to get ready. we got a big day. Frostgrave, finally, a long-awaited. And then the next day, we got Blood Bowl. And then who knows what I'm going to do the following day. All right? All right. Enough said. I've got it. Uh, I'll go pick up the expansion and then uh, I should get it in by next week and we'll do it uh, we'll do it again it's a game all on its own oh so it's not an expansion all right I'll, I'll check it out I'll check it out all right guys thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it I hope you all have a wonderful day and until next time thanks for showing and playing the game. Well, you're welcome, Captain Carl. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. All right. We'll see you guys. Have a good one. And we will see you soon.